So now I have six days to finish about 25 assignments. I'm going to put on a timer for an hour. Hey guys, I'm Reno. Welcome to another vlog. It is currently 9 in the evening and we are starting at D minus 5 days for exam cram week. So to give a little context, last week I had two weeks to prepare for midterms. I was going to tackle four to five labs and chapter quizzes a day, which would give me an extra three days to relax and review the notes that I took the nine days before. I didn't follow through on that plan, so now I have six days to finish about 25 assignments and still keep up with the new content that we're learning in class. Now you may be wondering, Reyna, how could you possibly let this happen to yourself? Reyna, what happened to your time management? Reyna, how are you going to schedule all these assignments and still have time to study for your midterm? I use Notion. Thank you so much Notion for sponsoring today's video. This is the app you guys see me reference in almost every study vlog. It's a great way for me to organize my life as a student, a young adult, and a creator, and I recommend this to literally everyone. So here's my Notion page, and I'm going to do a very, very quick rundown, but right here is the school page of my Notion setup. And right here, I just have the duration of the semester. So we started in August 15th, and it ends December 10th. And we have about six weeks, two days until the spring semester. And then I just have a flip clock widget of the time of the day and the goals that I hope to achieve. So right here, I have the week of October 9th through October 15th planned out. And as you can tell, everything is color coded according to its course. So Java programming is green, JavaScript is blue, accounting is red, and psychology is purple. On Mondays, I'll focus on my JavaScript and Java programming classes along with accounting. I attend these classes on campus, so it will be easy for me to get immediate help when completing these assignments. Tuesdays are for psychology and accounting. The information is still fresh from accounting and I like to get it out of the way, so I scheduled it early on in the week. Wednesdays are for Java programming and psych. Thursdays are for JavaScript and Java programming. And lastly, Friday is exam day. I don't plan to take exams back to back on this day as they aren't due until Monday, but scheduling it like this helps me take note of what's coming up. And I keep my Sundays empty just in case I need to move any assignments from the previous five days to the weekend. Now, if you scroll a little further, I have a timer right here and it's the Pomodoro widget, which is just embedded into this Notion page. And I love it. I use it every single time I study. If you go to the settings, you can select the theme. I tend to stick to rainy Paris, but they have Ghibli countryside, Seoul, and plenty of others that I think are super, super pretty. But I tend to stick to the rainy Paris. It's just, it's a vibe, you know? And then you can change the timer and the sound. I tend to stick to the bell, but the timer I tend to do between 60 to 90 minutes. But I do the Pomodoro timer for an hour to an hour 30 minutes. I'm gonna put it back to 90 minutes just cause that's typically my study time. And then right underneath it, I have a list of fall term courses and you can clearly tell I am feeling the flowers. I have the color code to all my courses right here. And I have a quote that I got off of Pinterest. If you wanna see the other encouragement pins that I have, I have a whole pin board for that. But yeah, this is the one that I went with this semester. And this is the last section of my Notion. Right here, I have my at a glance list or my master to-do list, which is just a list of all the assignments I need to complete this semester. And so far I have 43 that I still need to complete as of today. Right here, I just have the status, the course code, the name of the assignment, what kind of task it is, the percentage of the assignment, the due date, the grade that I got, and any notes saying like, you need to review this lecture and these PowerPoints before you can complete this test. So it's just a really good way for me to see all that I need to get done and I keep up with it throughout the semester. The layout is pretty basic, but I need something simple and it works for me. If you guys want to get organized with Notion this exam season, use my link in the description box to sign up for free. Once again, thank you Notion for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Now with that being said, let's get studying.
So I ended up changing my plan for studying and shifted everything up a day early. So on Sunday, I worked on accounting and psychology since I was least worried about the exams for these courses. This allowed me to focus on my other courses that were for my major. At this point, I was really worried about my coding classes, especially JavaScript, because we were still learning new content all while I'm trying to fully understand the material that was taught last week. So I felt this new change of my schedule was much needed. So class is finished. I was about to fall asleep. I'm not even gonna lie. The content wasn't dry. I just didn't get enough sleep. Right now I'm at Chick-fil-A getting something to eat and then I'm going to, I feel like every video I'm going to Starbucks. With that being said. Hello, welcome to Starbucks. May I get a grande iced matcha latte? Thank you. So to give you guys more context about the situation I was in, today I was focusing solely on my JavaScript class. Unfortunately, I was about a month and a half behind in this course because my elective courses were literally taking up all my study time. So to say I was stressed is an understatement. About 15 of the 25 assignments I needed to complete were from this class alone. So I made the decision of making this campus my second home. If I wasn't in my room studying, I was at school. I was well aware that I could have stayed home and just emailed my professor or set up a meeting on Teams, but being on campus eased my nerves because it made Made me feel like I was completing more work than I actually was. At this point, I had four days left to turn in all my assignments and still have time to study for the midterm. Then you have 120. Mm -hmm. You still have eight that we need to sell. Then you need to sell. And oh, okay, I see what okay. you, I see what it what it is. So then, then 80 minus 80. That's it. I get it. I get it. 
That was that was what was like 80, no, that's 80, what, yeah, like that's a, what I'm saying. Uh -huh. like, where's the 80s? Where's your No, I was too. I was like, I don't understand why there's two 80s at that specific <laughs> unit. <laughs> like, yeah, they locked us out. And or locked us in. Oh, y'all head out that exit, don't you? I do. Both of you. Bye. Bye. I think they locked us in. So I'm trying to hurry up. Yeah, he locked us in. He locked us in. Is it open? Oh, it is. Thank you, bye. Look at how empty the parking lot is. It's 8.17. Hey guys, so right now I am filling out my schedule for spring semester because registration just opened yesterday and I was quite late. I have this paper here as well as my notion on this screen of the courses that I have taken and that I need to take to finish this program. I'm gonna change this from my do not disturb to my studying focus and I'm also going to put on a timer for an hour. I will see you guys once this timer's up. So the plan is to graduate next year, fall 2023. I tend to take four courses during the fall and spring semesters, which is usually two to three courses for my major and one to two elective courses. I'm thinking of taking a couple of classes during the summer semester to speed up graduation, but we'll see. Okay, I'm on break right now, but I'm not actually gonna take a break because I'm way too deep into what I'm doing to stop right now. I'll probably take a break later and have some lunch, but for now I'm gonna continue doing what I'm doing until I'm bored. We are at D minus two days now and the pressure was through the roof. On this day, I finished my psychology midterm and my accounting midterm, which was perfect because I could focus on my last two classes without any interruptions. I had to complete the occasional exercise and a problem set for accounting, but it took me no more than 30 minutes to finish. Psychology was on the back burner and I wasn't too worried about my Java class because I was all caught up on lectures. Now I had about seven labs and lectures I still needed to complete for JavaScript, which I needed help on so I went to campus to complete those. You can see that in my study video with no music, but thankfully I was able to dock down the test from 7 to 3. Actually, name the professor. Jack. I know people. Come Do you even understand what I'm saying? Hey guys, so I'm going to be very quick because I have an assignment due at 11.59 and it is currently 10.16. So just a rundown, I got back from school about two hours ago. I am about to do a lab for Java programming and I thought it would be fun to come on here and do a coding with me. I don't have a lot of time, so I'm just gonna go ahead, put y'all on a tripod and prop y'all up right here. I also set three alarms just so I can keep track of the time. I set one for 11, 11.30 and 11.55. Okay, so this is future Rana looking back at this footage and my time management was so, so bad, which obviously reflected on my exam. I'm taking four classes this semester, accounting, psychology, Java programming, and JavaScript. I received A's on the first three and absolutely failed the last midterm with a score of 68 out of 100. Not my proudest moment as a student and I immediately started to consider withdrawing from the course. But now the time has passed and my nerves have settled, I'm able to sit back and reflect on these past two weeks. Procrastination and juggling more than I could has taken a toll on me and I guess I had to experience immense stress to want to do better. I'm not going to stress about my midterm grade because what's done is done. The only thing I could do now is learn from this week and keep it moving. And also because finals are coming up very very soon which counts for just as much if not more than the midterm. Anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment how your midterm went and I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Bye!